Hi and welcome everybody to the Uncanny X-Men. My name is Philip Tenser, better known as Logan McCree, and today I want to answer a question I received on Twitter. And the question was, why do you think there is a backlash to a man's movement or man's rights movement? It's simple question with a complicated answer. And I want to start answering this going back in time. Um, to a time when feminism started to gain momentum. So late 60s or mid, mid 60s, I would say. Um, women started to get a stronger voice. And um, I'm gonna, I want to pick one example and that is domestic violence. Let's say you have several victims of domestic violence, in that case, female victims of domestic violence that were, were victims of men and they find each other and they start talking to each other about their experiences. What do they have in common? Men as perpetrators of domestic violence. They will then because they share their experiences, they will come to the conclusion or they might come to the conclusion that men are the problem, that uh, men are the good guys, women are the victims. Because they don't know the other side of the story, because they can't see that there are also men being victims of domestic violence perpetrated by women. So they create a very understandably one-sided narrative. Um, different parts, different parts of feminism, uh, women that saw themselves as, as victims of one or another kind of oppression found each other and a movement uh, started to gain momentum and it became very clear what their, what the source, their perceived source of the prop of problems was and that was man the patriarchy became the enemy and even though there were of course feminists and women that um, rightfully so uh, realized that some men are a pro problem just like other men are not a problem at all there was a big um, a strong movement within feminism that said man as a whole as a gender are the problem so if and feminism started to become stronger and stronger in society and at one point it was uh, the default model to support feminism and to see feminism as something positive whether that is true or not um, if a man then starts to say, oh, but I'm a victim as well. That doesn't fit into the narrative because if you portray a whole gender as the cause of the problem, then how can this um, perpetrator, man as a gender, as a perpetrator, how can they be victims at the same time? I think that's how a backlash against a man's movement started. Women saying we are victims. As soon as men start to say we are victims as well, um, it doesn't fit into a narrative because feminism was an echo chamber where one narrative, um, one narrative was dominant we are the victims, they are the perpetrators. But if they say we are victims as well, then how can they be perpetrators? And the answer is very easy. Men and women both can be victims and perpetrators. Even the same person can at the same time be a victim and a perpetrator. Let's look at victims of domestic violence. Some people grow up in a household being victim of domestic violent, violence, they grew up to become perpetrators. They are victims and perpetrators at the same time. So that is one answer to your question. Um, 
The second answer is, and I think that's where we are at the moment, feminism got so strong, our society uh, accepts the model that women are the victims, men are not. If you say anything that challenges this worldview, um, you irritate people. And the the idea of the blue pill and the red pill, uh, the red pill being waking up from an illusion, from the matrix and actually waking up in reality. I think in the beginning I didn't like this this image in amongst the men's rights movement of being red pilled. But after a while I realized it's absolutely fitting. Our world lives in our ma our world accepts one model but it's actually a lie or it's a very one-sided it's a very one-sided version of the truth and if you try to wake them up and if you want to uh, tell them look there is actually more to this uh, it's more complicated than that people get irritated offended um, and they um, they react with disbelief, sometimes aggression, because you tell them everything you believe is wrong. Everything that has been told to you might be a lie or a, um, only a version of the truth that isn't, that isn't correct. And that creates a backlash. The next part is men don't like men have a hard time accepting that they can be victims. Men are taught to man up, men are taught to be strong, men are taught to walk it off, uh, and you don't talk about your problems. Sometimes you don't even realize your problems because you're taught to suppress certain things. And to a certain amount, that is, human, uh, that is ma male nature. Uh, we are more stoic overall and we try to ignore certain problems. So if you tell a guy, oh, actually, you're a victim of domestic violence, they sometimes try to tell themselves, no, I'm not. Well, are you being hit by your wife? Yeah, but I'm sure she's got a reason. Yeah, but you're a victim of domestic violence. So that's another answer why um, there is a backlash because m if you fight for man's rights you actually tell man dude you might be a victim of something um, and that doesn't feel good and luckily the man's rights movement says look don't fall into the trap of victimhood um, have agency over your own life. You can change uh, problematic situations in a life, but that does not mean that men can't be victims in a situation. And they are to the same extent that women can and are victims. So, and the last part of why there is a backlash, I would say is because just like amongst any other group there are rotten apples within the men's rights movement or there are people that choose strong language to get a reaction but these are two completely different kind of people so first of all you have people in that you are people that are vile you have feminists that spew poison and um, advocate man-hating and killing men. And you have people within the Mayans rights movement that I'm sure say horrible things. I haven't come across a lot of that, but I'm sure they exist. And when somebody says something like, let's kill all women, uh, or let's, yeah, uh, women can't be victims or anything like that. That's bullshit. That, and people like that have to be 
um, publicly uh, denounced by a movement if there is such a thing as a real movement and people have to say look there is no space in here for hate uh, because it's counterproductive feminists should do that with man haters the man's rights movement should do that with uh, women haters even though I can understand that there are women that hate men because they had horrible experiences and I can understand that there are men that hate women because they had uh, horrible experiences with women but these are personal experiences, isolated experiences and just because you had uh, negative experiences with a couple of people that were of one gender or of one race should not doesn't give you the right to generalize that the whole group of these people are bad people, obviously. So these are people within a movement that should be publicly uh, shunned from the movement, I would say. From feminism, from Black Lives Matter, from the man's rights movement. They have the right to speak, but we have to speak out against them and say this is wrong and then there are people um, that use strong language to uh, raise awareness and also to irritate people and i think as long as they have fair points as long as they don't spread hate as long as they for example if you use very strong damning language about women but you first explain that you're only talking about women that for example uh, yeah that treat men horribly or did something horrible I think in that case it's justified I'm still not a huge fan of it I think that language should always be civil um, but as long as you choose your strong language only in cases where you actually have a bad woman let's say i can understand why you use that language i think it's counterproductive and it will be used against the man's rights movement and it is being used against the man's rights movement uh but hey ho um we have Luckily, we have, for the most part, free speech and people should be allowed to express their discomfort with certain people. Um, but I can understand that it rubs women the, ru the wrong way if they hear um, certain words being used um, to describe women, even if these women are negative examples of their gender and not women in general. So that was a very long answer. I'm terribly sorry and I hope I didn't bore you. Uh, I do apologize that sometimes I have breaks, but sometimes I just have to think about how to express certain things. Um, and I'd rather choose my words wisely than, um, yeah, just say the wrong things. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you disagree with uh, my opinion on why there is a backlash to the men's rights movement or if you have further questions, please let me know and I'm more than happy to do a video about your questions. Um, on Twitter, I'm Logan McCree at LoganMcCree777. Uh, thank you and see you. Bye.